This is Attitude Adjustment, a fully disability accessible hot rod built by three teenagers in just three months time. This car was designed and built by Rogan McGill for his disabled brother, David. David was born with various disabilities and because there's nothing like it out there, that means that no matter how much David loves his hot rods, he has never been able to experience the thrill of driving one. In November of 2015, this car was entered as a project to compete in the National Science and Engineering Competition in 2016. The car was showcased at the Big Bang Fair 2016 and had won the National Science and Engineering Competition. The following morning, after winning the competition, the team of three, along with the car, were interviewed on BBC Breakfast. And this is the actual clip of the car being interviewed on live television. And maybe, can you give a little blast so we can hear it at full volume? And I warn you now, it gets very loud. So it's all hand controls, the throttle runs off motorcycle twist grip, there's no pedals whatsoever, it's a push lever to brake, um, you've got an aircraft ignition system. Coming up is an interview with John Harris, five times Welsh Paralympian champion, also into hot rod, however, again, limited by his disabilities. Today was uh, an absolutely tremendous, unbelievable experience. And you're talking to like uh, someone that's, you know, I've been to five Paralympic Games for God's sake. I've climbed Kilimanjaro, I've pushed over a thousand miles around Wales. But when we talk about a buzz, that's got to be up there with the best of them, you know. Even in my wheelchair, I've done 50 miles an hour, but that's got to be up there with the best of them. And, but my, my, my main fear wasn't the speed or anything happening to me. It was as good as kind of do some sort of a damage to the car. That was the last thing I wanted. But but I think for, for Rogan, his family and, all, and Old Swinford, giving me that opportunity to race, to do a drag race. And there's some fantastic cars, some fantastic drivers, some do 150, 160 miles an hour, and I'm doing 65. But it felt like 165, and it was just, I'm on a buzz, I'm on a high. It's the most fantastic, unbelievable feeling, you know, and uh, one I'll never ever forget. It'll, it'll live with me for the rest of my days. Absolutely awesome. And coming up is an interview with David, Rogan's disabled brother, whom this car was built for. And he's going to share some of his thoughts on the car and John's racing. Was it fun watching John with the wheelchair race? Yes. Why? It was awesome and he was fast. So cool. Would you like more of these cars to be built? Yes. Why? Because the people say we're fun. And now for an interview with Rogan himself, who designed this car, and he's going to tell us more technical things about the car. Up front we've got a 1951 Ford Pop front axle with a suicide front end that's custom built, a uh, transverse leaf spring. In the whole vehicle we've got probably about nine recycled vehicles included, from uh, 1996 Lexus to 51 Ford console to we've even got a 1927 Ford Model T style back end. What was it like driving the car? Exciting to say the least. You've got 400 horsepower sitting in front of you. It's probably the fastest disabled vehicle in the world and definitely an entertaining one to control but once you get used to it um, with the twist grip, throttle, the push brake being able to race it for, with John Harris, it gave him massive opportunities which he otherwise never would have had. And uh, I mean, the car it goes well over 100 miles an hour, and it's easy to control at those speeds. That was a little bit about the experience that you and the team had at the Big Bang Fair. Back in March at Big Bang, it was an absolutely unique experience being able to display the car for all to see. Um, it was our first opportunity after the car had been built to prove the point that we set out to that just because someone is disabled doesn't mean they can't have fun like the rest of us. 
and the reception we had was absolutely fantastic. Winning the competition was just an added bonus, it meant that we could promote our cause even more so. Um, at the Big Bang we didn't exactly know what to expect so we, we went with what sort of felt right at the time and talked to the right people. But we, we felt that it was an amazing opportunity to meet the people and find out what other people had actually been able to make as well of us. And now, for a video from the Big Bang Fair when they interviewed us after we won the competition. Our project was to build a fully disabled access and drivable hot rod which we can take to races and allow disabled people to drive around and enjoy the experience of what able-bodied people can do. The project matters to me because my younger brother David is disabled himself and wheelchair bound and we felt that why should someone who's disabled not have the advantages of someone who is able? So we thought this might change attitudes, perceptions of the public and give them something for themselves. Winning is one thing. We actually never even expected to uh, be able to make it into the top five, let alone win it. So it really did hit us by surprise and we are very thankful and grateful for the award. Taking part in the Big Bang Fair has been absolutely phenomenal. It's a fantastic experience and you learn so much. And of course, this video wouldn't be complete without seeing the car in action.